Ooh. Ooh. Hi guys, how y'all doing? I hope you're in the best of health. I hope you're drinking water and minding your business. If you're new to my channel, my name is Annie, Annie Paul, and it's so very nice to meet you. I make content on student advice medicine, lifestyle, and natural hair. In today's video, we're going to be talking about medical electives, how to apply, and if there's something that you'd like to know more about or something that you're interested in actually doing, please stick around and let's dive right into it. Okay, so one of the things that you should know in this how to apply series is that there are two part ways okay like there are two parts in applying the first part and obviously I'm going to start from this one because this is the cheapest option okay is to use Google Google is an entire resource like packed with all those goodies and guys take advantage of Google Google is your friend okay and Google is the answer so use Google literally go on Google and type out medical electives in whatever country that you'd like to do have your electives done in okay so you could do medical electives for example medical electives us medical electives canada medical electives uk medical electives egypt literally guys any country you are looking for an elective program in you most likely will find it on google okay so once you google medical electives in whatever country that you are looking to be in or you're looking to go to different schools and different hospitals are going to pop up you're going to see like one hospital that's in fact let's now is the time to be serious so okay so different schools and different hospitals are going to pop up and when these different schools and hospitals pop up you can click on them find out more check your eligibility status check um if they're taking students from your part of the world if you are even able to go because there's some electives that they'll say oh, okay you have to be in maybe fourth year third year you have to have started something clinically related you know so there's going to be like a lot of rules or kind of like requirements from you as a student that's wanting to apply for medical electives so you should check all of these things out and if you're eligible by all means the first step is going to be sending an email okay so once you send an email you're eligible you get talking with them and you apply baby is as simple as that okay okay so the next um pathway we spoke about two pathways and obviously we've exhausted all of google so the thing with google is that some of these opportunities will not be listed on google but they are available so this is actually what we're going to be using next we're going to be using a database that's packed with different elective programs for students just like you okay and this database is called the electives network so now what you're going to do is you're going to type in the electives network on google and they would require that you um create an account and after creating an account you have to subscribe to you know be able to utilize all of the good stuff on there so because sometimes i'll get the program for free and i believe that these are guys from new zealand australia maybe i'm not so sure from the uk and um from some schools in the caribbean i am not entirely sure about this i will double check and i'll put all the eligible students to get it for free or the places to get it for free on the screen or in the description box so you want to check that out so now um after you check if you're able to use this for free if you are an international student here in ukraine guys please it is not free okay you would have to pay some money in my time then i paid about um i can't really remember i think it was about seven pounds that i paid and that was for three months but now they've scrapped out the one month and three month subscription options one month three months and six months yeah subscription options they've scrapped all of those out and now what they're offering is 15 pounds per year so you can always um subscribe for that now guys in this subscription process wisdom is profitable to direct if it is too expensive for you of, of which um 15 pounds is i don't know i want to say it's a lot of money and not a lot of money at the same time so depending on wh what season of life you're in 15 pounds might actually be a lot of money for you so um think or consider 
um, pairing up with people that are also interested in having the program maybe um, you and a friend can share your subscription um, bear in mind that you can only use one email address so yeah that's that's basically what it's about now when you go on the electives network you're literally they're gonna ask you where they're gonna ask you when okay it's gonna be like where you go for example where and you go Africa or you go Nigeria because there's like drop-down menus and you can pick continents or you can also pick like from the continent which country in the continent you want to go to and guys to, to, to bust your brains, okay, I found hospitals in Nigeria. Yes, there were hospitals in Nigeria on there as well. So, um, this is a resource that you most likely will find a lot more hospitals or a lot more schools that are willing to offer elective programs on. And now, once you find these schools, you'll find emails that you can send an email to just to get chatting with them to know if you're eligible. Because after all is said and done, you have to check your eligibility status okay so if you check your eligibility status in via email obviously you write an email you introduce yourself and you say what you want to do if you say that and they're like oh great we're happy to have you by all means get all your documents ready and start processing okay if you have been with me on this channel long enough you know that we always give bonuses so i'm just going to list out some of the bonuses i think will help you when you are applying for your medical elective program okay so we're gonna get into the bonuses real quick but if you are getting value out of this if this is helping you in any way if you're getting anything out of this please support this channel by liking it will really mean a lot to me so the first bonus will be to look through your options i know that you have it at the back of your mind that if it is not if it is not the uk it is not anywhere else or if it is not the us it is not anywhere else and believe me it doesn't always work like that keep all your options open look through all your options and literally keep on looking because you paid all of that money to do what not just stand there okay yes the second tip will be to apply 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 and why am i saying apply apply literally everywhere why i'm saying this is because i personally during the time that i was applying to do my medical elective program i sent out over a hundred emails yes the year over a hundred emails so guys um put it at the back of your mind that it's not going to be easy you, you might get replies on you, your first set of emails that you send out you might not get replies but hey the dream is to keep trying till you actually actually break in okay another bonus will be your when when you want to do your medical elective the time you choose to do your medical electives totally depends on you and it will usually fall between summer here in ukraine so in between your um schooling sessions when school is in holiday then you go during the holiday period and come back in school but when to start looking or when to get that subscription or when to start googling okay your best bet will be um somewhere around 18 to 6 months before the intended date or the intended month that you hope to start in and the reason why i'm saying this is because there are a lot of um goodies or a lot more options that you get if you're giving them a lot of heads up before you actually come for your program okay so imagine if you were applying for a program that would you want to do in the next 12 months they're able to better prepare for you they're able to better orientate you when you come around and you know it's just better plus you get more for your book okay you actually do get more for your book believe me who knows you might find some free accommodation all right the last bonus tip today will be that when you find a good school or a good hospital save it okay save it and add it to your list or save it and add it to your favorites there's a section for the favorites in um in the medical electives network when you register and you have an account with them okay and now the reason why i'm saying to save it even though you've already applied or you're hoping to apply <laughs> believe in me this tip this is actually the tip for you okay the reason why i'm saying you should save it is because even after your subscription ends except the changes in the future the ch <laughs> except they change this in the future even after your subscription ends you can have access to those schools or hospitals or institutions that you already saved and are looking to apply to okay so 
after you save them say um, you've done an elective program this year and you want to do another one next year okay and you're not ready to pay all that money again or you just run out of your subscription you will still have the saved institutions in your space the bad thing or the downside here is that something you saved could get updated on the actual website but I don't think it's going to get updated on your end until you actually renew your subscription. Okay guys, thank you so much for staying with me till the end of this video. Thank you for your support, thank you for your time, and thank you for your patience. If this helped you or um, encouraged you or shed some light on the questions that you might have, please support this channel by liking this video, subscribing if you're new. I mean, write in the comments if you have questions, I'll be in there replying, liking, answering re responding all of that good stuff i'm going to be seeing you guys in the comments okay okay thank you so much and uh, until later peace and lots of love